I'm not fun.
but action. This year is like no other year. The year that needed hope, support and extraordinary courage to navigate the many challenges the pandemic had put forth. Today we celebrate ourselves as leaders who will enter a changing world and go on to shape a new generation of learners of different ages, races, genders and socioeconomic backgrounds. If you believe in the power of education as the great equalizer and a vector of economic mobility, I invite you to respond to Dr. Dallas Herring's charge to take people where they are and take them as far as they can go. Be better, do better, and treat other people better. Think and do. Go Pack! Good afternoon. I'm Dr. John Lee, Associate Dean for Faculty and Academic Affairs here in the College of Education at NC State University. Welcome to the December 2020 College of Education graduation ceremony. Though we are apart right now, we are together celebrating the achievement and success of you, our graduates. We are united with one accord and here this afternoon as one pack. A big welcome to the family and friends who are joining us via YouTube. Thank you for being here today. For family, friends, and loved ones joining us from all over the world, we want to acknowledge your contribution to the success of our graduates. Thank you for your support and your encouragement. We know you are excited, and we want to see and hear your excitement this afternoon. While we cannot all be together to share in the applause and celebration of our graduates, we want to encourage you to share your excitement and enthusiasm for your graduate and all of our graduates. Don't hold back. We want to see your excitement. So please feel free to offer congratulatory messages and reactions to the videos within the chat feature of Zoom or on YouTube. To our faculty, staff, and students throughout our program, we'd love to see you as well. Show us your Wolfpack spirit and let our graduates know how proud you are of their accomplishments. At this time, I would like to introduce the leader of our extraordinary college, Dean Marianne Danowitz. Thank you, Dr. Lee, and hello, graduating students. I'm thrilled to be coming to you live from our beloved Poe Hall. I know my being here in Poe Hall and you're sitting at home is not the kind of graduation ceremony you dreamed of when you began your studies in our college. But please, don't let today's circumstances diminish what you've accomplished because what you've accomplished is truly extraordinary and something for you to be proud of for your entire life. You've shown grit, passion and creativity, and you persisted to successfully complete your degree, even in the best of circumstances, completing your bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree is a major accomplishment. So to do this at this particular moment in time is truly outstanding. You've had many extra things to worry about over the past year, such as your health and that of your family and loved ones, and the global reckoning of racial injustices. Maybe you worried about where you would live or if you would be safe or how to manage a bigger loan. You faced academic challenges and changes like no class has ever before and you adapted swiftly, resourcefully and gracefully. For some of you, we know that meant shifting quickly to different ways of interning or student teaching or moving to entirely new modes of teaching and learning online. I also know many of you have been working full time and carrying on major family and personal commitments, all the while completing your degree in the midst of COVID-19. You should be proud of what you've accomplished Congratulations for a job extremely, extremely well done. Dr. Lee earlier acknowledged the support you've received from your family and friends to complete your degree. I want to come back to friends and family for a moment. 
No one makes it to graduation alone. So to all our family and friends of our graduating students joining us today, a huge and warm thank you to every single one of you. Thank you for standing beside their graduating students throughout their education journey. And thank you for entrusting them with our college and our faculty and staff. And I wanna take a moment to recognize our superb faculty and staff and for their role in this moment. Graduating students, you have received the best of the best from our faculty and staff in our College of Education. They've challenged and supported you. They've served as your teachers and mentors. They have done all that they can to prepare you for the opportunities and challenges you will face. And as this past year has shown amid the pandemic and as racial injustices has come into broad public view, you will face many challenges as well as opportunities. You have certainly chosen to work in a field that is not easy. But there is also no profession or field that gives you more of an opportunity or places higher expectations to positively impact so many lives, no matter what path you've chosen to take in the field of education, whether it's counseling, teaching, training and development, research, advising, administration, whatever path, I urge you, I urge you to be a champion for the educational success of all, particularly those students of color or those living in poverty. Embrace your calling as an extraordinary educator and be confident knowing that you are poised to build a better world for children and families. I am confident you will do just that because I've seen what you've already done. You indeed are a very, very impressive group of over 160 professionals. During your time in the college, you won national and statewide awards. You presented your research all over the world. You mentored, tutored, and taught K-12 and post-secondary students. You worked to reduce opportunity gaps and to create opportunities for success. And you have leaned into the monumental educational challenges facing us today. You are the leaders the scholars and educators our world desperately needs. You will see every individual as having potential and you will work to uplift each and every individual you interact with. You and our world-class faculty and incredible staff are what makes this college so special. Your talent, your passion and resilience are major reasons why we are North Carolina's leading college of education. And being here today to join me with my colleagues in celebrating you, our class of 2020, this indeed is my highlight of the year. I look forward to hearing each of your names called during our, today, our ceremony today. And I look forward to seeing how you will impact the lives of others long after you have completed your degrees. And now it's time to meet our College of Education's class of 2020.
Thank you, Dean Danowitz, for your opening remarks and for your leadership of our college and for introducing us to our class of 2020. Now we will recognize each graduate individually. Each year, our presentation of new doctorates is truly special. The doctorate degree is the highest degree that NC State University offers and is awarded in recognition of the rigorous independent academic research that each student has completed and produced in the form of a dissertation. We invite you to join us in the recognition of graduates receiving a doctorate degree. First, a word from one of our new alumni. Congratulations, fellow graduates, and thank you to distinguished faculty, family, and friends who shine their bright lights on us graduates to make this culminating moment a reality. My name is Marcus Howard, and I'm a graduating doctoral student here at NC State's College of Education, and I am very excited to be with you all today. I want to first give a special thank you to the faculty who challenged me and pushed me to become the very best of myself, to my peers who banded together and supported one another to the finish line, to Dean Danowitz, who's built a diverse team to support the success of all students and who supported me in starting the first Black Graduate Student Association, and to Dr. Anona Smith-Williams, who's been a mentor to me throughout this journey and who told me when I was first accepted into this program that I would not only finish, but I would thrive, and she was right. Today, we thank the College of Education because you've prepared us to be elementary school teachers who develop young students into critical thinkers and problem solvers, you prepared us to be school counselors who will help alleviate the mental health challenges that affect millions of young people and adults around the world. You've prepared us to be training and development professionals who will close a growing skills gap that has left millions of U.S. jobs unfilled. You've prepared us for now and for that, we thank you. And to the graduates, we made it. We can take a deep breath and step back to reflect on this long but short, challenging but enjoyable journey to graduation. Today, we celebrate ourselves as leaders who will enter a changing world and go on to shape a new generation of learners of different ages, races, genders, and socioeconomic backgrounds. Graduates, now that we've been prepared by this amazing institution, it's time for us to go out and do the extraordinary. Thank you all, and go Pack. Educational Leadership, Policy, and Human Development. Doctor of Education Degrees. Alan Ledger Ayingma, Adult and Community College Education. Dissertation title, Predicting Student Success in Online Post-Secondary Career and Technical Education. Engaging with Peers, Faculty, Content, and Work-Based Learning. Under the direction of Professor James Bartlett. Elena Shalova Guy. Adult and Community College Education. Dissertation title, Case Study of the Reinforced Instruction for Student Excellence, Teaching Faculty's Understanding of Theoretical and Practical Application of Maslow's Theory of Human Motivation in a Core Requisite Development Classroom, under the direction of Professor Michelle Bartlett. Rodney Jackson, Community College Leadership. Dissertation title, Examining the Perspectives of Geospatial Professionals Towards the U.S. Department of Labor's GTCM, a Q Methodology Report Approach, under the direction of Professor James Bartlett. Jewel Noel McDonald, Educational Administration and Supervision. Dissertation title, a Q methodological study of school leaders' beliefs in their need for cultural competence and cultural competence professional development, under the direction of Professor Lance Fusarelli. Erica Shoulders Royster, Educational Administration and Supervision. 
dissertation title, Traditional Schools and Charter Schools, an Examination of the Impact of Policy Flexibility, under the direction of Professors Michael Ward and Lance Fusarelli. Keith A. Whitcliffe, Higher Education Administration, dissertation title, Exploring the Relationship of Residential Program Involvement with Measures of Academic Success, under the direction of Professor Dwayne Ackroyd. Doctor of Philosophy degrees. Virginia Caroline Burks Droughton, Educational Research and Policy Analysis. Dissertation title, We See You, Policy Supports and Barriers for Part-Time Undergraduate Students, under the direction of Professor Audrey Jager. Autumn Hope Gwynn, Educational Research and Policy Analysis, Dissertation title, Professional Development for North Carolina 4-H Educators Who Teach Science, a Mixed Methods Case Study of 4-H Science Curricula Training, under the direction of Professor Tamara Young. Douglas A. Hummer, Educational Research and Policy Analysis. Dissertation title, Community College Presidential Change from the Department Leader's Perspective, a Case Study under the direction of Professor Diane Chapman. Tracy Ann Catcher, Educational Research and Policy Analysis. Dissertation title, A Qualitative Case Study of Adult Learner Experiences at a Community College with Ongoing Student Success Environment, under the direction of Professor Susan Barcinas. Sharon Edna Loza, Educational Research and Policy Analysis. Dissertation title, Children with Social and Behavioral Disorders in Early Intervention, Secondary Data Analysis Using the National Early Intervention Longitudinal Study, under the direction of Professor Lance Fusarelli. Mian Wu, Educational Research and Policy Analysis. Dissertation title, Perceiving and Managing the Student Loan Debt, an Exploratory Phenomenological Study of Doctoral Students' Experiences, under the direction of Professor Alyssa Rockenbach. Alonso Arian Moro, Counselor in Counseling Education. Dissertation title, Macrosocial Bullying, Social Dominance, and Pathological Whiteness, a Qualitative Systemic Review of Institutional Power systems of oppression, social exclusion in counseling and counselor education under the direction of Mark Grimmett. Jason Oliver Perry, Counseling and Counselor Education. Dissertation title, The Relationship Between Risk to Recidivism in Career Self-Efficacy in Ex-Offender and Criminal Justice Populations under the direction of Professor Raymond Ting. Dima Soma Payne, Counseling and Counselor Education. Dissertation title, Continuing the Evolution, Examining the Experiences, Perceptions, and Practices of Duly Licensed Counselors Working with Children and Adolescents with Mental Health Concerns, under the direction of Professor Stanley Baker. Marcus Philip Howard, Educational Leadership and Policy in Human Development. Dissertation title, Examining Mentors and Apprentices in a Workplace Setting. A three-study perspective under the direction of Professors Amy Orders and Jane Fleener. Worley Sean Lynch, Educational Leadership, Policy and Human Development. Dissertation title, the relationship between job satisfaction and faculty turnover among physician assistant educators, under the direction of Michelle Bartlett. Lashika Davis Waters, Educational Leadership, Policy, and Human Development. Dissertation title, Being Seen from Behind the Screen, Narratives of Non-Traditional Undergraduate Online Transfer Students' Expectations and Experiences of Student Success under the direction of Professor Michelle Bartlett. Christopher Nathan Williams, Educational Leadership, 
Policy and Human Development. Dissertation title, The Power of Campfire Success for Diversity Education, a Case Study Analysis of the Diversity and Inclusion Adventure Experience Program under the direction of Professor Joy Gales. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Education. Doctor of Philosophy degrees. Michael James Belcher, Learning and Teaching in STEM. Dissertation title, Examining Middle Graders' Experiences with a STEM Entrepreneurial-Based Curriculum and Its Impact on Mathematics Learning, a Design Study, under the direction of Professors Jair Comfrey and Aaron Krupa. Taylor Ray Harrison, Learning and Teaching in STEM. Dissertation title, Decision Making of Secondary Statistics Teachers, under the direction of Professor Holly Lynn Lee. William Matthew Reynolds, Learning and Teaching in STEM. Dissertation title, From Fractured to Structured, a study examining the characteristics of PCK and PCK development of pre-service science teachers in an undergraduate teacher preparation program under the direction of Professor Soon Hee Park. Department of Teacher Education and Learning Sciences. Doctor of Philosophy degrees. Michael Barrett, Curriculum and Instruction. Dissertation title, An Investigation of the Effectiveness of Garden-Based Learning for Elementary School Students with Disabilities who were included in the general curriculum under the direction of Professors Ed Suborny and Susan Osborne. Danielle Maria Bolden, Curriculum and Instruction. Dissertation title, Building the Capacity of In-Service Teachers to Integrate and Teach Computational Thinking under the direction of Professor Kevin Oliver. Bailey Kamau Garba. Dissertation title, Understanding Factors Related to Pre-Service Teachers' Attitudes and Perceptions Regarding African American Language, under the direction of Professor Jessica DeCur Gumby. Mark Jeremy Spring. Curriculum and Instruction. Dissertation title, Teaching a Practical Philosophy of Mind, under the direction of Professors Angela Wiseman and Rui Pritchard. Nerman Vihabovic, Teacher Education and Learning Sciences. Dissertation title, A Community Classroom as Our Home for Children and Youth Resettled as Refugees and Tutors. Three Essays on Language and Literacy Practices in a Transcultural and Translingual Space, under the direction of Professor Angela Wiseman. To the students receiving their doctoral degrees today, along with all of our deans, department heads, and faculty members, I offer you all our heartfelt congratulations. I know that all of your family members and friends share our joy and are so very proud of your accomplishments. Your friends and family helped you meet the deadlines, overcome the challenges, and find the strength to reach your goal here today, the awarding of your doctoral degree. The degree that you are receiving today is the highest recognition in academia. There is no degree higher than a doctorate. In earning your doctorate, you have accomplished academic success that is a reflection of your knowledge, your intellectual commitment to the betterment of society, and your capacity to persist in your work. You have accomplished much, but we know that you are not done yet. With your doctorate in hand, you have new opportunities and obligations, and we know that you are ready for this new work. We look forward to continuing to learn with you to solve problems side by side and to take on the challenges that we face in education right now and in years to come. Congratulations to you all on your work. Congratulations. Congratulations.
recognize our master's degree recipients. The master's degree is a course of study demonstrating mastery or a high order of knowledge in a specific field or area of professional practice. Please join us in recognizing graduates receiving a master's degree. First, a word from one of our new alumni. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation. This is Meena Sivaraman, a fellow graduate, a homemaker, a mother of two great kids, and a mentor. This year is like no other year. The year that needed hope, support, and extraordinary courage to navigate the many challenges the pandemic had put forth. Yet, here we are. I'm sure, just like me, many of you are sharing this joyous moment with your family and friends who supported us throughout this journey. I feel blessed and humbled to be here with you. NC State provided me the opportunity to bounce back as a professional. College of Education honed my leadership skills. I am forever grateful to my advisor and to all the faculty members who have helped me throughout this program. Quoting Herbert Spencer, who have said, the great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. So now it's time to take the next step to be who you are and what we are to do. We are special. We went the extra mile during the global pandemic to be able to achieve this feat. I'm confident enough that we can be the part of shaping the leaders of the future. I wish you all the very best in making the impossible possible. Stay safe. Thank you. Educational Leadership, Policy, and Human Development. Master of Education, Adult and Community College Education. David Brandon Denton, Erica Amanda Dunnan, Tara Pardini. Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Ariel Diane Butler, Michelle Summer Garcia, Carolyn Riley Swartz, College Counseling and Student Development, Haley Edwards Barker, Ariel Johnson, School Counseling, Gabrielle Simone Gregory, Training and Development, Tierra Latrice Anthony, Catherine Marie Covington, Holly Carter Eberhard, Robin Allison Fusaro, Dwight Jarrell Laughlin, Christy Noel Long, Nancy Ann Lowry Rowland, Catherine Margaret Marshall, William Charles Mathias, Karen Cecilia McDowell, Imari Brianna McLean, Susan Oni, Ariel Rose, Deborah L. Taylor, Aslan Ryan Teague, Summer Rose Van Wegen, Emily Sink Wilson. Department of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Education. Master of Education. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Education. Leslie Gathriam Baker.
Courtney Lockamy Ballard, Justin R. Blackburn, Alyssa Turner Brinkley, Ashita Nicole Harris, Brian Joseph Hayes, Tawana D. Hayes, Courtney Howlett, George Say Hugh, Leland Ivory Heyer, Jamie Peacock Jones, Patricia R. Corman, Johannes Kroper, Shanika Lassiter, James Clarence McFarlane, Jennifer Whitener Orr, Joseph Dean Otelio, Elizabeth Fay Richardson, Elvia Yamlet Rodriguez Mejia, Calum William Russell, Mina Sivaraman, Cody Spicer, Andrea Spool White, Jennifer Charlotte Lynn Sutton, Jody Troxler. Technology Education Joseph Brent Curran, Master of Arts in Teaching, Mathematics Education Ashlyn Brianna Barnwell, Amy McKay Beersack, Caitlin Corley Haney, Science Education Isaac Khalil Fritz. Daniel Harmon, Nicole Confroy Hooks, Department of Teacher Education and Learning Sciences, Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Aluchi Mary Linda Obadinkpa, Curriculum and Instruction, New Literacies in Global Learning, Ki Kang, Ying Wang, Curriculum and Instruction, New Literacies in Global Learning, Reading Education, Corey Dobas. Digital Learning and Teaching, Erin Elizabeth Erberly, Timothy James MacArthur. Elementary Education, Elizabeth Gray Baker, Emily Margaret Baldwin. Kimberly H. Carpenter, Mandy May Dalrymple, Taylor Lee Hux, Lisa H. Langley, Renee Henley Mitchell, Danielle Maloney, Stephanie Tosca Ninich, Nakia Chanel White, Learning Design and Technology, Gabrielle A. Kionis Cordova, Janet Gail Swartz, Jessica McCatskill, Shermika Marchette Walker, Special Education, Kayla Marie Malone, Master of Science, Curriculum and Instruction, Rachel Joyce Debnam O'Day. Curriculum and Instruction, Curriculum and Developmental Supervision, Janelle Erlian Miller. Curriculum and Instruction, Educational Psychology, Waverly Simone Logan. Master of Arts in Teaching, Elementary Education, Sally Blanchard Allen, Tyler Quincy Bates, Margot Lee Broderick, Kayla Renee Bullock, Brittany Leanne Cohens, David John Collins, Jala Tanel Daly, Elise Henley, Holly 
Coltrane Hines, Jana Franklin Daves Humphrey, Nancy Christine Lockridge, Laura Miller, Carol Oriola, Ariel Jessica Pickett, Brian Edward Pridgen, Kristen Bartman Pulliam, Grace Louise Reed, Andrea Mitchell Rivers, Autumn Michaela Robertson, Gretchen St. Fleben, Amanda Nicole Smith, Audrey Snow, Iriana Stephan, Adrian Tobin, Sean Walker, Yasina Andrea Wright. English as a Second Language. Fernanda Waklawick Porter. Natalie Alice Steinhauer. Madeline Murdoch II. Lauren Kate Thompson. Middle Grades Education. Talia Bree Lang. Nukisha Kasha Motzinger. Social Studies Education. Abby Atwood. Kyle Elliott. Special Education. Casey Lee Lusby Lucerio. Brittany N. Clark. Daniel Frankenfield. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Jessica DeCur Gumby, Department Head for the Teacher Education Learning Sciences Department, to offer a message of congratulations. To the class of 2020, I congratulate you all on an extraordinary accomplishment. You are now about to begin a new journey and will do great things. I would like to applaud you all for persevering during a pandemic and successfully completing your master's degrees in the College of Education. I express my sincere gratitude and congratulations to the parents and family of our graduates who would love have helped our students successfully finish their studies. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my deepest gratitude to our professors for enabling these great minds to blossom, our staff members for their administrative support, and our alumni for their continued devotion and contribution to the success of our graduates. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. DeCur Gumby, for your words of encouragement and congratulations to our master's graduates. Requiring the completion of roughly 120 credits in learner leader experiences that include field-based internships and student teaching. Join me in recognizing our bachelor's degree recipients. First, a word from one of our new alumni. The College of Education was home to me for four years. I'm pretty sure that for most of college, I spent more time in the College of Ed than I did anywhere else. I worked there, I learned there, and to some extent through Say Village, I kind of lived there. I was able to participate in activities like Say Village, Mayan, and Student Ambassadors. I worked in the Student Success and Advising Center for the entire time that I participated in the College of Education, and that was the most influential experience I had during college. I had a great support system who supported me not only as a student, but also as an employee and as a person. I was able to lead and create programs that were highly successful, teaching about cultural competency and cultural pedagogy. And as a student, an undergrad student specifically, that's a really big deal. And that's something only the College of Education can provide. At my call for us, my challenge for us, is to never stop challenging yourself. Never stop challenging yourself to be better, do better, and treat other people better. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. Go Pack. <laughs>
that you will wear this pin with integrity, with pride and confidence, knowing that you're well prepared for the responsibilities, challenges and opportunities that lie before you. And I hope you will wear this pin as a reminder of why you chose the profession of education. Be grounded in your why and that will carry you for whatever awaits you so you can make an extraordinary impact on the lives of those who need you the most. As you begin this next phase of your life, I wish you all the very best. And I look forward to continuing the celebration at the university's commencement at 6 p.m. Finally, wherever life leads you and whatever direction your career takes, may you always be a leader of the pack. Congratulations and go pack! Congratulations. To the class of 2020, congratulations. We are so proud of you. While we are not celebrating the way we wish we were, please know that we are celebrating you near and far. We are proud of your accomplishments and your perseverance. And go Pack!
I hope you are finding as many creative ways as possible to celebrate your success. You deserve it. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are all so very proud of you. All the places you will go, go back. Congratulations to all the 2020 graduates from North Carolina State University, and a special shout out to the graduates of the Community College Leadership Program. Go Pack! Congratulations, Class of 2020. I can't wait to watch you change the world. Go Pack! Congratulations to the Class of 2020, and especially to our MAT graduates. How lucky are your future students to get to learn from such dedicated and passionate teachers? I'm sure you'll continue to make us proud. Congratulations, class of 2020. Although you'll be graduating from NC State, you'll always be a member of our Wolfpack family. Please stay in touch and let us know if there's anything we can do to help support you. I know this is not the graduation that any of us anticipated when you started this journey, but it's certainly one that we won't forget. So congratulations on all you've accomplished, and I'm so proud of you. Go Pack. Congratulations, all graduates. You've done extraordinary things, you've left your legacy, and now you are off to inspire the world. Congratulations on all your successes, and I wish you all well. College of Education 2020 graduates, congratulations. Education is a better field now because you are an education professional. Hey graduates, congratulations. I'm hiding in my house so my kids can't find me and interrupt this important message. Go back. Way to go, graduates. From our family to you and yours, we offer you a big congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. No matter where life takes you, always remember you're part of the pack. Congratulations. congratulations. Go, go pack. pack. Congratulations, counseling and counselor education graduates. Thank you for joining a professional community that promotes wellness, multiculturalism, and social justice. Go Pack! Hey, you made it! Congratulations, class of 2020. We're all so, so proud of you and have the best, best wishes for all of the great work that you will do going forward. You did a great job, especially this last leg of the race. Congratulations! Congratulations, College of Education, Class of 2020. You've done it. you worked so hard to get here, and we are so proud of you. Congratulations, College of Education, Class of 2020. I look forward to seeing all the great things you do as you go out there and start working to transform schools and making things better for teachers and students. And remember, you're always part of the Wolfpack family. Let us know if we can ever be of support, and we look forward to seeing all the great things you do. Pack. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of your accomplishments and wish you the very best. Go Pack!